guys today we're gonna look at the Thompson TG58 VAC router this is a new router out we're gonna look at the port forwarding features of this router so first this is the one interface after you have logged into the router or the settings interface from here we can see that there is a one services that's where the port forwarding is so if you locate the one services you can click on it and go in you can add a new port mapping i've entered one at the top so here you can just add another name select tcp udp add the port you want the start port and the finish port or the one port and the LAN port uh, select the ip address that is going to on the LAN internal LAN and se select add and that's the port forwarding for port 9001 on the Hick Vision DVR. We're going to do another port. Uh, we name a CCTV2, choose the port TCP UDP 8001, that's the HTTP port. I've changed them from port 80 to 8001. And we add it and that's basically how simple it is to do it from this new router. After it's added, we refresh the data to go and confirm that everything is added. If you're using Dynamic DNS, this is where you would enter the Dyn settings. So you select Dyn DNS, enter your username and password and the domain name and save. So you have to go to the show advance to see it. Obviously I've left the Dyn DNS on, so I'm gonna go back. And you will see at the front. It would have tell you that the dynamic DNS is connecting there. So that means the dynamic DNS is on. However, the details aren't in, so I'll go back and properly turn it off and save it go back out refresh the data and then it will say the Dyn DNS is disabled there you go so that's how to add the DNS or disable the DNS we sign out that's basically it guys please don't forget to subscribe for more videos thank you